Dunge, a collection of Caribbean students from the Northeast has set sail on a multi-city excursion to gain a 360 view of our nation's history. Lauren Martinez takes us out to Point Cadet for their port stop on the Gulf Coast. Touring 10 cities across the U.S., 19 ambitious juniors and seniors from Proctor Academy in New Hampshire and Met High School in Rhode Island are learning American history while boating a 135-foot wooden schooner as part of the Ocean Classroom Program. Getting students out of the classroom and having authentic education that's with real-life experiences uh, uh, is a great thing to do and there's no better platform in which to do that on a tall ship because we can study everything from the mechanics of sail uh, to marine biology, history, literature. The two-month trip taught the students many life lessons. For 12th grader Muhammad Daraji, he says he matured a lot over the last few weeks. Honestly, it feels gratifying just working up from, you know, just a little baby all the way just going up and just seeing how I've grown as a person, honestly. Like it feels good to like do this as like it's like a final project of mine of sorts, you know. While having the privilege of leaving the classroom behind to explore various cultures sounds like a dream, Proctor Senior Elliot Norris says the trip has been a huge challenge. Uh, waking up at 4 a.m. in the morning to stay on the watch for four hours, and then go back to bed and get another four hours of sleep, and then you're up again. So not not the greatest sleep schedule. I'd say it's probably the hardest part. For these Gen Z kids who are usually glued to social media, this trip also challenged how they connect without internet access. To give up their cell phones uh, at the beginning, they get a couple calls home to mom and dad uh, during the voyage and then they'll get their phones back and I think, I think they grow to appreciate that. And carry the lesson about the sea and themselves into the future. In Biloxi, Lauren Martinez, WLOX News Now. And the students will visit Mobile and Montgomery, Alabama as their last stops while sailing on the 50-year-old Harvey Gamage Schooner. 